Hello everyone, my name is Robo and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tribute to Rubes Cubes. He, literally, he recently uh, put in his community chat that i uh, not been feeling too well, so I thought I'd do a video, a uh, bit of a tribute to him. He's a great guy, great YouTuber. The first thing I want you to do, guys, before we go any further, I want you to scroll down and look in the description and in the pinned comment where you will see a link to Rubes channel. I want you to go there, go on to his latest video and just send him a little... Get well soon support, show him some love, I don't care what you do on this video, you can leave a shit comment if you want, you can do absolutely nothing, but I'd love you to go over to Rubes, just give him a little uh, a little bit of love, while he's feeling a bit uh, up in ill. So, I thought the best way to do a kind of tribute to Rubes is to use his favourite deck, I will admit, I will call this the boring deck. <laughs> That's no offence to Rubes, but it's been... It's basically been the best deck ever since this batch of figures has been released. Bear in mind, these figures, the highest numbered one is the Blue Vegeta. That's how long ago these have gone out. Like, first set, and the rest of these were all second set. That's literally it. I believe this, this Vegeta is the last one, and I think that was second set of figures. That's how broken this deck has been for so long. But anyway, we've got the... Uh, We've got the Piccolo with HP, we got Vados for obvious reasons, Goku, I put mine all attack, I'm not sure if he uses all attack or all HP on his one, but I went all attack. Uh, Future Trunks with all speed for the O1 one skill, and then this Vegeta to just hit like an absolute truck. So let's just go straight into this. This deck is ridiculously good, and it will be for a long time. I do intend to get back to Hero Coliseum, guys. I know there's a lot of figures I haven't showcased from the recent set. The Trunks in this video being one of them. Sort of that we're up against. So There's plenty for me to do. It's just, um, I fall in and out of love with this game, I suppose. Just because there's not much... There's not much to it, I suppose. And there's not a huge community on the PC, and my PlayStation account is so far behind. In fact, it's a problem, because I've got a PS5, and uh, it won't let me access my PS4 account for some reason. So, I don't know what's going on there, but... Um, I'll try and figure that out. But yeah, I just wish they'd add a bit more to the game. A bit more uh, variety, some other game modes. Some other options for what you can do with figures. Right, go on, Goku. You could, uh, you could just wipe this guy out, couldn't you? Ah, six K. That's not bad. No, 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 no. We don't do counter attacks here. You're on the wrong channel if you're looking for uh, additionals. I do enjoy this game. I'd love to see it get put into an app game because I think that would, um, it would be for the benefit of it. Whoa. I think I have a little bug here, ladies and gentlemen, because look, there's no HP bars at the top. Whoa, that's weird. I've never had this happen before. That doesn't usually happen. It does still have the HP up there, usually. I'm not being a fucking idiot, am I? <laughs> I haven't played in uh, a couple months now, so... Uh, so I've been wanting to get back into it. I've got other figures to showcase, so I will uh, be doing them. I'm probably just going to stick to doing, if there's a good version of the figure, just doing that one. Because I know I did both versions for a lot of them, like Kale, Khalifla, Jiren. But that was because both figures could have uses. There's no real point. Like, one of the Tapions is absolute garbage. Even the good one isn't great, but the other one is useless, so... No, Piccolo died! <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We've got Vados and, uh, and Goku just stacking up all the uh, sort of attack down and damage dealt down. Damn, he's tanky. How much do you, defense do you have, Super Saiyan Hercule? 3A, that's pretty impressive. I suppose the only weakness this deck has is that it can be quicker than some. Just because there are some very slow figures out there. Like, I would usually outspeed this deck because I don't use this blue Vegeta. 
I tend to favour the Omega Shenron more. There's not much in it. I would say Vegeta probably does a little bit more damage, but I think that Omega Shenron is a better figure because he has better trigger square in that he gets a central sort of front one, so he can uh, make use of the ultimates, whereas Vegeta has a top left. And uh, Shenron's much slower. He's got like a thousand less speed, so that's actually quite a big deal. But both have their uses. No, 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 no. Stop giving it... Why does Vados always get my additionals? It's weird. Ooh. So close. That Vegeta was actually the perfect counter for this Vegeta, wasn't he? Because he hits everything in the row. 13k. That's... That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. We've also got ultimate this turn, haven't we? Yep. Am I just dumb? Has it always not shown you the HP of both sides at the start of a turn? Or is my game bugged? There's no options, so... Eh, whatever. That could be quite... An, if it's not a normal thing, that could be really interesting. Because you have to actually pay attention then. To, like, your HP, your opponent's HP. That could be cool. That'd be a great feature. If it's not already in there. I could have sworn it's not. All right, go on, Trunks. Time for you to finish this. Save the future. This Trunks is really good. He's balanced in that he's not as quick as the, the um, future Gohan. Oh, right, Gogeta doesn't take damage, does he? I forgot about that. That... He could actually be a really powerful figure. I'd overlooked this Gogeta beforehand, but now that I think about it, he... Right, on his first turn on the field, he dodges damage. Ooh. Only once, but that's, that's really interesting. There's some good use for that there. His right arm, though, really bothers me in that... Like, doesn't that look weird? Or is that just me? It just looks weird. Um, he's not got much speed, so we'll just we'll do that. I want to get, get Vegeta a good amount of damage on the uh, Master. Trunks won't be able to kill, but Vegeta will. Oh, we got a Spirit Bomb. You know what? We haven't thrown one in ages. Let's throw this one. And I've just realised that I was saying Trunks can't kill Gogeta. Now he can. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> we won't get to see Vegeta do 14,000 damage. Actually, no. 5-1, he should be okay. I don't think Trunks puts out that much damage. Nah. We good. We good. Go, Vegeta! Now, this is without the up-second skills, which is all three of his skills. So, let's see how much he does now. 11-9. That's not bad. <laughs> That's insanely good. To be fair, that Vegeta would be a pretty good rogue pick if you go against somebody you know always uses slow decks. Because you could stick that Vegeta in to your speedier deck if you want to run, run that over him. Just imagine that Vegeta. It would be a great way for you to deal with uh, certain figures. I think if you could throw that down against Vados first turn, and you'd have a speed deck. With that Vegeta in. That could be really interesting. Right, we'll do another uh, another battle or two. So what we do? We did Vegeta there. Uh, let's just go for Jiren. Let's go full power Jiren. Also, for anybody wondering about that team in particular, this is the team that's going to be uh, trying... I like to put emphasis on that. Trying to beat my world record in um, the story mode of Hero Coliseum. I think I found a method to make it a bit more consistent and possibly uh, possibly lower the time a little bit. Because there's time to be saved, I know that. It's not much, but there's time to be saved. I'd actually save a few seconds not having to do all the bloody splits. <laughs> Oh, 
for now. There's, there's time for that. I've had people ask about doing the free battles before. You do realize, guys, that there's like 130 to 40 battles now in free battles. Do you understand how long that would take? Like, these seven-star ones are taking, what, between, I don't know, if I did them more efficiently, probably five to eight minutes. Now, if you see the first, sort of, all the way up to three stars would easily get one shot by the blue Vegeta, but there's still so many battles. I'd be okay with, like, doing a segmented one, I suppose. If there was, like, a few of us that could get together to do that, that wouldn't be too bad. We like segment it and glue it together and submit that. It's just, you know, even like I know I've said as a live stream, I'd like to do if I hit two thousand, I'd love to do like a major live stream or something, but that would be a day. That would literally be the entire day. And I don't think I could focus that long on streaming. Alright, good start. Uh, let's just do that again. Like I said, this is what I call this the boring deck, because there's not really... Oh, no, I don't want to sound horrible. There's not much strategy to it. You don't really have to think too hard, you know. It comes down to, do you want to put down Blue Vegeta this turn, or do you want to put Goku down to do uh, to sort of debuff them a bit more? How much is this Gogeta going to do? Not much, but... Most figures end up after two or three turns doing basically no damage. I love that Jiren. That Jiren is a really good figure. You see, if... if I'll put a big if on that. If I did another tournament, I would ban Piccolo. I don't think Piccolo by himself is OP, but the problem is because of everything else in the game, if you allow Piccolo in, it just makes it so boring. I remember the last tournament we did on the channel, and I'm pretty sure most of the decks had Piccolo in, because why wouldn't you? He makes your master really hard to kill. So I would ban Piccolo, I would ban Toa. Uh, I wouldn't ban Videl because of the introduction of Lord Slug, so there's sort of another option there. I know I've seen other people not rate Slug that much, but he's actually got quite a lot going for him that Videl doesn't, in terms of stuff like damage. Like, on turn one, Videl is better. Turn two onwards, I think that um, you could give the... the Slug the win. I really do. I think he's a very strong... Um, EX break. So I wouldn't ban him. So Piccolo ban, Toa ban. I don't think with that you need to ban anything else. I know people will say Vados, but the thing that makes Vados so irritating is with the Piccolo. Because it stops, it does, it makes going after the Master not an option. I know you then risk, but the deck I always loved was the double rare golden freezer with Whis, Vados, and I can't remember what the fifth figure was. But that was just so funny, because it got to the point where you just can't die, because they just don't do any damage. But to be honest, it'd be interesting seeing decks like that over just seeing Piccolo every game. I don't know, that's just my thought. That's just my thought. I just find Piccolo... Piccolo will age better than almost any other figure in the game. And that's a fact. No matter what the power creep, this Piccolo will always be an option. He's got great HP, decent defense, and as long as this Vados is here alongside him, there's no worries. He He's just always going to be a top meta choice. Alright, look at him. There's just nothing to not like about this Piccolo. I mean, he's at 3,300 defense this turn. Thanks to a combination of the, the skills I'm running... Sort of with the up second two, his own trigger square, plus he gets 700 for that turn as well. He's over 4k defense, it's turn four. And he's got Vados on the field still, although she's about to die. 
Let's just uh, do that. Like I say, Piccolo will age better than almost any figure. Vados will age beautifully. Uh, this Super Saiyan 4 Goku will as well, because he has a bit of everything in his kit. There we go. And then you, it's it's interesting to see how well some age and then some drop off. Like, Beerus was a really top pick early on, and he's just dropped off completely because of power creep. And that's the same in any game. Any game, you get power creep, and the stuff that was originally so strong is now, you know, not usable at all. You could probably make Beerus work, to be fair. With the right setup, but... Oh, you have O1 skills, don't you? Um, Right. So we just uh, we just put Vados down this turn. Now, if you're still watching, Rubes, if you are watching, get well soon, mate. All the best. Uh, I know you've had it kind of rough recently, haven't you? So... Just hope you feel better soon. That's a really nice ultimate, by the way. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was a little close. I did that just so that there would be literally no way we would die. You'd have... 5,000 defense from Piccolo, and then 30% damage reduction on the Master from uh, from Trunks. No, we don't do that here. I wish there was a way to disable it. Ooh, he outspeeds. How much is this Gogeta going to do? Because he, he's based on 01 skills, is what he's got, so he shouldn't do too much, really. 2-5 is still not bad, really, all things considered. Trunks is dead, though. <laughs> Damn, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's really good. Or 7-8, near enough. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, really good. He's kind of dropped off. Not in terms of how good he is, it's just how much you see him used. People just don't seem to give him a shot anymore. Which is sad, really, because he's a good figure. <laughs> mm. Stop giving me the spirit bomb. I'm not using it. The amount of times I've needed the Spirit Bomb in matches online and it's never given it to me is ridiculous. But here, no, nah, first opportunity you want it, have it, you know. <laughs> nice, good, uh, good damage, GG, GG. Right, we will call it there. Uh, Rube's deck, prove it. Like I say, it's been the meta deck for ages now. There's two meta decks that have just survived for all of this time and pretty much always will. The other one is double Vegito, Videl, Champer, and then something of your choice. When something better than Champer comes along, that deck will change. The only reason Champer's in that deck is because of that um, increase the damage taken by all opponents on the field. If something comes along that has a skill even remotely like that, he will drop out, because that new figure will have better skills than, or better stats than him, so... But yeah, that and this, like I said, I can't see... The only change that you can make to this one would be to use this future Gohan instead. But it's a debate that's up for grabs. Both, both have their strengths. The good thing with Trunks is that he is kind of more usable with the slow team, in that he gives the minus 30% of damage taken by your master, whereas... Gohan's more focused on if your allies get defeated. I don't know. It's a, it's a good choice either way. You know, if you want to go for a 
I suppose a more consistent, maybe, figure, because they they are. He's only just slower than Future Gohan. It's literally just 30, I think, isn't it, after his posing skill. So it's personal choice. I I would probably prefer this Trunks just because of that damage reduction to the Master. It um it does make a big difference. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like I say, if you're still here, really do appreciate it. Do go down into the the uh, comments in the description find that link to Rube's channel go on his newest video and just leave him a little get well soon just give uh, give the guy a little love while he's feeling down and uh, a bit ill still but yeah thank you all for watching i'll see you next time